Right, we're further along. Um, it's still, where they had put pipes, it's still absolutely bone dry. So whether it has been diverted, because there was water trickling, wasn't there? Must have gone underground then. All this stream along here is bone dry. But it does come out, I think it must go naturally underground. Unless they have diverted it. Look. Bone dry. Amazing. No, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen it like this. It's amazing. And yet it was still trickling quite well at the top, so it must, it's still around. It's just gone underground, hasn't it? Coming up to the pink cottage in a minute. First of all, we've got the big wooden roundhouse that looks like a, a castle or a penny tower. Um, coming into sections of it here now. Um, but around you've got it's coming into a big round building and I've watched them build it. Uh, don't know if anyone ever lives in it though. Yeah, I've seen them building it. Still dry, look. I wonder what that is, why that is. Why has the water gone underground? Drying up these streams that plants have lived along for years. Unbelievable, isn't that? No, I don't think I've ever seen it this dry. Unless they've done it on purpose, you know, I mean. Right, we're going to walk through the pink cottage. There's somebody in the garden. I hope they don't mind me walking through. Don't normally say anything. Apple tree cottage, I think they call it. Because there's someone out, I might have to be careful videoing. Well, for privacy's sake. Oh, there's a Maggie Magpie. Because oh, I've adopted the Maggie Magpie as a spirit of Bran. Of Maggie. Because Maggie was fascinated by magpies, actually. Because she knew they had the same colouring as her. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it's called. Apple Tree Cottage. There's somebody out in the garden with a dog, which I haven't seen before. Either. Right, I'm going to turn off for a bit. Just take one more photo. And turn off the video. Right, we've passed through the pink cottage, but respecting the privacy of the people that live there. Um, I don't think he's ever spoken to me, the, the chap there, but he's always very busy. And um, they've done quite well. It's coming on in stages. Look, here's a pipe where the water normally comes out by the cottage. Bone dry. So where, where, where? Has that water gone? This is Dolbury Warren, everyone. It's a lovely, peaceful walk. It's a nice walk on the way back. We'll go up here because it's quite stony, that bit. Um, this, is, this has been a stream as well in the past, by the way. Here. And that's within me visiting here for like 15 odd years. Don't forget, I didn't really start exploring my local areas until I retired. There was no time when you're a busy mum, when you've got a family and you're working and you're tired. 
you don't have the time but as soon as I retired and I got a camper van I was off doing that and I was able to start exploring my family tree and extended family I had a good eight years ten years of doing that I'm really glad I was able to do it and uh, and I discovered the walks like I said I was on the previous video earlier I started doing over here on behalf of my third cousin Barbara who's passed away in 2018 but she used to love my videos did she yeah oh which way we're we gonna go oh we'll follow this one now very overgrown isn't it I've never known it this overgrown, ever. Don't you know? Now we're up there. Wait a minute. Let's just get organised. Right up there we've got um, the hill fort. Which we've done this year, of course. We didn't do the secret steps. It was too slippery on my last visit. But we, we might fit in a walk. I've got so many walks to catch up on and new places to go and go back to places I haven't been for five or six years <sighs> either so what do you want to do should we go up there or we'll carry on down here or we could carry on down here that's the remains of a ruin there look it's even grown into the tree This is Dobry Warren, which means we're joined up with a path we passed much earlier today. And um, I'm just going to stop for a minute and have a drink. Won't be a minute. Just turn off for a sec. Right, so we've walked along a bit of that. Now we've come up a bit higher so we can see the trees. Gorgeous trees. I don't know if what it means they've got pink on, whether it's... Um, they got to be cut down or what? But yeah, it's a very quiet walk I've had. I deliberately had um, a quiet walk, which meant I wasn't talking. Which is very difficult to do. And like I said, some people will probably say, Oh, thank God for that. Do you know what I mean? Thank God for that. I just love everything about nature. Like I said, Michael Mosley's been on my mind a few times today on the walk, and I just think he loved life. Um, he had a lovely family, he had a good life, he had a good career. He was an explorer, an adventurer, a, care, a caring person. And um, I just think it's sad that he died like that. But was he experimenting on himself again? That's what I think. I think he was testing things out to do with heat. But it might come out later on, you know, one day. See, it's quite wet here, look. The water's emerging somewhere, isn't it? But the riverbeds, the streams, all dry for a long time now on that walk I've just done at the top and but there was plenty of water when I was walking along the top end of the Robert Warren there there's plenty of water coming down and there's um a tube there and I can see some water. I think it's coming down somewhere. I think it's been, I think it's been redirected, you know. Because look, it's appearing again now. Here. I think it's been totally redirected by, because it's coming down that way and not down that way. You know, it's coming down there and not here. And it's trickling. 
It is struggling, but it's still water, which disappeared for ages. This can become a river almost, this bed here, when there's really, really severe weather. This will take the overflow. Oh, there's different smells you get with different plants as you go along. Yeah, see, look. It's trickling there. Now, I'm on the path. I don't know if anyone recognise. I passed that big tube earlier today. Probably took a photograph of it from a different perspective or direction. Yeah, I came along here. We're going back and it's a lovely walk. It's a lovely walk coming along it and going along it. It's always something different to see, especially when you change direction. See, remember I, I remember taking a picture of that tube there for that pipe. Nothing much coming out of that. Very, very little water, but there is a trickle. There's just a trickle coming out. So where it's going, I don't know. So if it's just because we've it's dry or what? It's getting deeper again as we go along. And of course much deeper and faster in the winter. Interesting that, but somebody knows. Hobbit Hill, I always think of that. That up there. I can remember, imagine hobbits living in there. Goblins and fairies. Yeah, the woods have got culture, haven't they? They've got a lot goes on we don't know about. They connect, communicate, tolerate us. Yeah, there it is again. Something's happening though, isn't it? Something's landscaping it or engineering it. I'm just fitting a, a bit more again because the thing is I am facing a different way. And anyone who doesn't know this, this place or didn't realise what I was doing earlier might not recognise this. In wetter times, this would have been having water as well, in wetter times. That's why it's got so many stones in that. It takes me a long time, you know, doing all the videoing. It could be several weeks before this one's shown. I might show the, the pictures on um, Facebook. But it'll take, I've still got, um, I've, got, I've still got to put Pretty on YouTube. It's all been done, WM5, MP4. Um, East Quantum Head has to be done. Not all safe to disc even yet. That's got to be done. And of course you have got like the wood walk I did and Sand Bay, which I did yesterday. I did sand bay yesterday. So I like being out when it's sunny because I haven't got a garden, you see. I haven't got a garden. I haven't got that ability to be able to sit out and have a cup of tea and just enjoy the fresh air. So I can't stand being trapped in. I'm an outdoor girl. And when I had my own house, I had a 135 foot garden. And I used to like walking around with a cup of tea. But times change. And uh, the boy, there's a, well he's not a boy, he's a man, he's from New Zealand, he has the, the ground flat at the back and he's got the garden, but he has to pay extra money for that garden, and his actual accommodation is quite small, but he has got a lovely garden and he looks after it well and he puts little lights and that out there, 
you know, and he loves it. He, he preferred to pay the extra money to have the garden. But he said he's struggled with his stuff because there's no room really. I've been in I've been in there with a previous tenant and I I know what how big it is in there. Anyway look, I'm gonna turn off again for a minute. My, my arms are aching. I'll just keep the I've turned off the Kodak for a minute. Because holding two cameras it's makes your fingers ache actually. Earlier I came down through there, but I'm going up this way this time because it is so stony. But I did come that way on the way down. I'm just coming. My feet are a little bit tender now. Of course, there's evidence of human activity or dwellings or buildings everywhere. Usually covered up in the undergrowth now. Lots of little things that sometimes surface in the winter. Yeah, so above us, that way, beyond these trees, is the hill fort. And if you go on YouTube, you'll be able to see my videos over several years of different with different cameras, different times. It's ten past five, everyone. So we've been out walking now for six hours, which is about right. But we've got at least another half an hour to go, if not, I don't know if it'd be an hour. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's going to be an hour or not. We're doing a slightly different walk back. It's not going to be any faster, any quicker, any slower when we cross the main A38. We're just going to go up through the little wood and down the lane. I mean, I fancy a nice cold pint of so I don't cider really drink anymore, or, you know. And uh, if I have a glass of Prosecco, one glass, it don't have any effect. <laughs> I need a bigger bottle. <laughs> I cut down a lot, though. So I want to keep fit. I want to be able to do this. I don't want my liver to pack up my kidneys. Every now and again, if I have had a few, if I've been to a summer's birthday or something, my pancreas just a little twinge, actually, you know. Just a reminder. Right, I'm turning off. Over and out. Not again, I think it might have packed up. I'm not sure. So, whatever I said a minute ago, it, it, wasn't, it might not have recorded. I mean, the camera's done well today, especially Kodak. I've never, for a long time, I haven't known Kodak go for like four hours. <sighs> you know, it went a long time. Um, all the way round, more or less, till we got to where I had to get into the entrance to Robert Warren. It did all that, I couldn't believe it. But of course, I wasn't doing video. I wasn't doing video. I was just mainly doing photos. I use the small Sony for the video because this small Sony doesn't do photos. So between them, they record the walks. Even though I had really good cameras, these two are doing quite well between them. And this is quite a nice way to end the walk, isn't it? This way rather than on a road come back this way then have a nice gentle stroll down take a picture here everyone mowing they all know it's going to rain tomorrow see so everyone cuts their grass and then when we have really, really hot summers, so people don't tend to, the grass more or less dies. No one really cuts it. <sighs> right, here we go. That's the pub. Down. Lovely little stroll. <sighs> I've been walking for six and a half hours now. <sighs> I don't ache at all. I'm fine. 
I'm absolutely fine. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Every minute. It's been great. I just love the heat. I actually love it. We have so much cold. Oh, look, there's a Tesla. Let me take a picture of them. You don't see many, do you? Oh, that's a lovely one, isn't it? A white one. Elon designed those. He's in my family tree, Elon is. Yeah, two of his great great uncles married two of my great great aunts. And they all lived in the same village years and years ago. We have a connection. And all the cousins from that, those marriages, all the kids from those marriages, we shared the DNA. Me and Elon Musk. Oh, I used to talk to one of my daughters quite a bit. She's the same age as her. Um, they communicate sometimes. But he's a very busy person. He's got loads of fingers and different pies. And, um... But whenever I see a Tesla, which is rare, still rare for me to see a Tesla like that, um, I think of Elon. I just hope he's gonna, he needs to slow up, really. He's getting to a dodgy age. But he probably won't. Here we come to the pub, folks. Here we come to... I'll turn the cameras off in a minute. Just videoing right to the end. There's the pub. I'll find out what it's called in, in a minute. I keep forgetting. And of course, people do do pub crawls still, where you go on foot like I'm doing, and you stop at the, every pub en route. Not very good to keep you hydrated, though, not drinking alcohol. It's a dehydrator. I think that's the pub. Might be further down. Maybe that ain't it. Might be a bit further down. 